r slash s credit, what is an odd behavior of yours you think only you do? My dog and I have arguments when he barks. He will hear someone in our hallway outside and start barking every time. I tell him shhhh and he barks again slightly less loudly this time. This continues until I can barely hear him, but he has to get the last word in. Drives me up the wall. I do the same with my cat. We have full on conversations and arguments. My hands being wet makes me angry. I'm not a confrontational slash aggressive person, but if my hands were wet and someone came at me, I'd be probably 4x more likely to be aggressive back at them. When a page is taking a long time to load on my laptop I rotate my index finger clockwise and it makes me feel like it makes the page load faster. There was an article here a few months ago about how moving your mouse back and forth actually made things go faster in old versions of Windows. I have a habit that somewhat resembles what autistic people do when they are overstimulated. When I'm alone at home and something positive happens, get some good news, get invited somewhere funny tc, I slap my head, almost like I'm playing the bongos. It happens a lot and actually feels really good. Like I'm getting a serotonin and rush. In grade 4, I met one other person who did it. She called it the woodges which I still think is amazing. I think chimpanzees do this. Every time I bend over to pick something up I pretend I just unknowingly dodged a bullet from some far away sniper trying to take me out. Sometimes I shoot fingers guns for no reason. Stop dodging. When I wake up for work, sometimes I have the good chills about certain things. Like the account console in my car might look like a cockpit and it sends good chills down my spine. It's like the time before I have to be at work is a cozy little mini time. There is no way in hell I can explain this in words. I have always called it the morning weird. Man I hope there is someone else out there that knows what I'm talking about. Sometimes when I'm listening to music I play a game where I tap my fingers to the syllables. If the sentence ends at the pinky or the thumb I win. If not I must continue until it ends up at one of them. I have noticed I often sniff when I enter a room. So I don't scare people by just talking out of nowhere. Your friends probably think you've got a crippling cocaine habit. Sometimes I wonder if there's actually people who can see into your mind. So I start thinking about really interesting things so if there is, they won't think I'm boring. I make sure to make a splash noise when I pee to make sure I'm not sleeping and pissing the bed. Has it ever saved your bed from smelling like pee? That's the hard part. I haven't pissed my bed since I started it, but correlation does not equal causation. It kinda weird, but I like to rub my feet against each other under the covers. It calms me down and helps me fall asleep. When I'm at home I eat the kernely bits of the popcorn first and save the soft parts for the end. I don't know where this came from, but I can't seem to stop. I say things to myself to break a train on thought. Like I love you, or I'm sorry, or you got this, just to keep myself going on the right path. Probably be weird if someone walked in on me trying to motivate myself out loud. Positive affirmations. Good work, it's important to be nice to yourself. In the shower, I slowly rotate to keep myself evenly warm. I do it unconsciously now. Like a rotisserie chicken. I rub the tip of my nose and after a while it starts to feel really nice and I get a mild sensation not unlike an orgasm. So now I've been rubbing my nose for longer than I'd like to admit. Shake my butt when I'm lying in bed. My alarm is set to 7am. I can't remember when I last heard it go off because I wake up at around 6.15 and spend some time on my phone before unsetting my alarm and getting in the shower before 7am. My alarm is set to 7am. I can't remember when I last heard it go off because I wake up at around 7.30. Sometimes when I get bored, I explain modern things to Benjamin Franklin. Music I listen to, or how my phone works, etc. Sometimes I go even further back and explain it to Socrates or a caveman. Sometimes it's philosophical, sometimes it's just stupid. I don't know why I do it, but it's very entertaining. Edit, well, till this isn't that strange. A lot of people do it, and many of them specifically choose Benjamin Franklin as their time traveler of choice. 
I used to do something like that on car trips, only I'd pick a time period and imagine what a philosopher, monk or otherwise educated person from that era would be able to figure out about what I was seeing. Sometimes I spell a word in my head over and over until it seems like nonsense. It's called semantic satiation. Each day when I come home from work, I say to my cat Bruce Wayne, Hi, honey, I'm home. Did you do your taxes? Or what? You did your taxes. In my head, if my cat were a person he'd be a tax accountant or something. Every time I leave the house I remind my dog to pay whatever bill is due next. When I'm watching a movie or TV series and something bad happens to a character I really like I can't handle him being sad or distraught. So I stop watching it. It's a real problem I have to force myself to continue. Because if I wouldn't I wouldn't watch anything until the end. It's been like this since I was a kid. If there are tiles on the floor or some other weird design, squares, lines, paintings etc. I always try to walk in some weird mathematically even pattern. It's very difficult to explain, but in my mind it makes a lot of sense. I blow on my ice cream. To cool it off, I'm not really sure. I wasn't even aware I was doing something weird until my GF noticed and said, you know that's not hot right. By doing this, you're warming it up. When at the library or bookstore, I sometime open a book I know I will read at some point, but not right now, and read a random line at a random page. Then, maybe years later I will read the book, and when I get to that line, that I have forgotten all about, and get the most powerful feeling of deja vu, I will remember what the world felt like, smelt like, the sensations and feelings I had, while reading that line. It's like like little gifts of memories to future me floating around in various books. I make a valley out of pillows and blankets and sleep in the middle, so I can koala hug something, while laying on either side. I walk fast. When it's a crowded place, I use hand gestures, whenever another person gets in my way, to tell them where I will go, like I point to the left and they automatically move to the right without any awkwardness. It works more often than I expected. People tend to follow such unexpected gestures unconsciously. I have to blink an even number of times and most of the time that's not enough. I have to stop what I'm doing to keep on blinking until my mind is pleased with the right amount of even times I've blinked. Sounds like hell. I throw up gang signs at my dog. Don't know why it started, but I get a laugh out of it and my dog just likes the attention. Edit. While this blew up, my dog says what's brack in blood. I do weird things in front of my dog to make him curious, and I like the way he looks at me with those big googly eyes full of confusion. You will never find on my alarm clock time like 6.40 or 7.15. It will always be something like 6.38 or 7.14. I don't know why. Same for me haha. I think the 7.13 feels better than the 7.15, because when the alarm goes off I have a reason to lay down a little longer, because I'll tell myself 7.15 I must get out. Sometimes I take a huge intake of breath, as if I've been stuck underwater for longer than I'm comfortable, and can finally breathe again. It scares the crap out of my friends as I'm usually quiet for several minutes, and then suddenly I'm practically screaming. I just tell people that I forgot to breathe. I rarely realize I've done it too, it just happens. I also randomly do one hiccup. Sometimes mid-sentence and I'll continue my statement without letting the hiccup distract me. When my girlfriend gets home, I often pretend to be dead. She then feigns shock and horror until I ultimately succumb to a fit of laughter. I try and be as inventive as possible with positioning and stuff, and I'm well aware that I could become the man who cried wolf one day. Just mix it up with other pranks. True moral of that story is that you should never tell the same lie twice, after all. I discreetly wave my right hand when I'm in front of sliding doors like a GD knight to open them. I also do this. Sometimes, if I'm feeling a little flamboyant, I snap my fingers at the door like I'm Fonzie. I try to time it so I can almost convince myself that it's an actual power. When I'm extra sleepy and laying in bed, I'll just raise one of my arms completely straight up and let my hand go limp. I'll hold this position for a while and I usually go to sleep soon after ha ha ha. 
I pretend I'm giving birth, breathing, while I poop, especially if slightly constipated, because I convince myself, if it helps push a baby out then it should for poops. I mail. When reading a book I sometimes stop paying attention, but I keep reading. My eyes continue reading without me realizing what's going on. Sometimes I have to reread entire chapters, because I forgot to pay attention. Yep, same here. I'll start thinking about something, and notice I've read a couple more pages, and have no idea what I read. I like to do certain things in a certain time, so I make a deal with the devil that, if I don't complete my work in that time, I may lose my life mercilessly like getting cut into thousand pieces, or getting crushed from toe to head, etc. I usually complete the task in time, but if I fail, and the devil comes to take my life, I trick the devil, my mind, to make another deal with more severe consequences. I usually do it in simple tasks like, if I don't reach that tree in 10 seconds then I'm dead, or if I don't cross that car, and maintain a distance of 1 meter in 10 seconds then I will be in an accident in less than 30 seconds. I know it's foolish, and I doubt anyone else is as crazy as me. I do this all the time, still don't know why, but it's a fun little game when walking. When I'm alone sometimes I will shriek and beg for my life under my breath, as if I'm being murdered, in order to give myself a cheap chuckle. So I'll be in the bathroom going no god. Don't let this happen. Don't let this happen. He's stabbing me. I don't want to die. Our father who art in heaven. And just laugh my ass off. Edit, woke up to a 91 next to my name and immediately thought what did I do. Also thank you for gold.